Toast 10 Titanium has many functions to help me work with my video in unique ways, enhancing the capabilities in iLife to give me even more control over my movies. For example, I can extract selected scenes from DVD videos, such as a scene where my child scores a goal in a soccer game, and convert them to video files. To start, I mount my DVD video on my Mac DVD drive. I select the Convert category in the upper left and then click on the Video Files button. I click on the Media Browser icon in the upper right and select DVD in the pop-up. I select which title or titles I want to add. The movies from the DVD video are added to the Toast project as thumbnails. This may take a little while as the video is cached to my hard disk. I close the Media Browser. I select the Extract button next to the movie that I want to extract scenes from. This opens the Toast video player. Again, this may take a few moments as the movie loads. I drag the lower right corner of the Toast video player to open it up so I have more room to work with. I move the scrubber on my timeline to the approximate end point of the movie I want to extract. I can also move to different points by clicking on the thumbnails above the timeline. When the Find checkbox is unchecked, I have fewer thumbnails per minute for rapid navigation through the movie. When checked, I have more thumbnails for more exact control over the selection. After I have found the exact end point where I want to begin extracting, I drag the end marker to this point. I then click on the Play button and play the movie up to the point where I want the extraction to end. I drag the Out marker to this point. If I have additional scenes I want to extract, I drag the scrubber to the starting point and click the In Out Markers button to add another set of markers. I drag the new In and Out markers to fine tune the extraction points. By the way, in case I want to remove the video between the markers rather than removing the video outside the markers, I can select the Invert Markers button in the pop-up menu by clicking the icon in the lower right. The out marker is now before the scene I've selected and the in marker is after it. So the video between the markers will be removed and the video outside the markers will be kept. However, for this example I want to keep the video between the markers, so I click the Invert Markers button again to get back to my original selection. Now I close my video player and I'm asked if I want to save my changes back to Toast. I select Save. By the way, the source video is not changed so I will not lose my original videos. Since I only want to save extracted clips from the first movie on my DVD, I will remove the other movie from my project by selecting it and clicking the Delete button on my keyboard. I click the red Convert button in the lower right and select my output. In this case, I will send to iTunes in a format compatible with iPhone and iPod Touch. I open iTunes and my movie shows up in a playlist called Toast. The movie includes only the scenes I have extracted and not the entire DVD movie. Now I can use iTunes to sync my movie to my iPhone or iPod. Toast 10 is a great tool for extracting those special video moments from my DVDs to enjoy and share with friends and family.